And in 2023, a lady shall lead the United States of America. When a lady lead, meets, leads by, the United States of America will be, will, be, will, will, be, will be at the back of a woman. And the vice president will still be a woman in 2023. Then in 2024, they would want to continue and the Lord was saying no. And I began to see how Trump, the Lord said, I will give Trump an idea to push away Mike Pence. And I began to see a woman with Donald Trump coming back. But there is going to be a lot of another lady that is going to come from primaries to win Donald Trump. But the Lord will still choose Donald Trump to win in the primaries, to still come with the Republican to go and this time the Lord said I will give Americans Americans the opportunity to choose their grace for if they continue with the leading president and there is an end time signs I gave in 2019 that three ladies are going to be the three transgender ladies are going to be powerful in the nation and two and two ladies are now, one is prime minister, the other one is president. The Lord said, if the United States, if a lady ruled in 2024, then the, then the Armageddon will not be far. It will be close. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And he said the Armageddon will be close. Then the end time will not be far. Then the judgment, because the Lord said, these ladies we began to keep a woman right not human right it will become a woman right where a man we bring the food at home she will eat and it's going to be a human right where she can choose not to get pregnant and adopt children that is the right they will have where she can be able to cheat and not the law cannot hold her because she chooses to have sex with another woman because she chose to have another sex. So marriage will not be a bond between a husband and wife. But rather, marriage will be a free, open relationship where a married woman can sleep with another man and the law will not be against you as a woman. Then the man who will sleep with another woman the woman he sleeps with will not be the one to pay the law to, to be fined if she's being caught. So everything that the Bible talks will become the opposite if these three ladies becomes the president in three, three different nations. Are you understanding what I'm saying? They will change and it will become the reverse. Everything in the Bible will begin to turn. Are you hearing? So a woman can now have relationship outside her marriage. The law will not be amended worldwide. It is not yet one word order. So America with these ladies and other ladies who are the leaders will come together, will not begin to make it rotational. Anything that used to be against the lady will not be against the man. That's when you will see men becoming pregnant. Then science will prove it that every man that wants to experience pregnancy, it can be done. The Lord said, tell the people, it will no longer be human rights. It will become woman human rights. Not man's rights. It will become a woman human rights. That is why the Muslim would have a word of their own. In 2023, you will see the Muslim will begin to accept their kind, their religion in their nations and begin to kick away Christians out of their nation. Are you understanding me? Because these things will be accepted by Christians, not Muslims. Muslims nations, it won't happen. And if time is not taken, a lot of people will become Muslims in 2023, even when the anointing has been experienced. So we will have a lot of people converting to the Muslim 
than to the Christian because the Muslim will stand and fight for their rights and they will not but for Christian nations we begin to consider this are you understanding what I'm saying <laughs> Flores Amba God bless you That is what the Lord is talking about. You have seen nothing yet. And the Lord began to show me transgender in a marvelous way. This transgender thing became reality. And in the nearest future, even Nigeria accepted homosexuality marriages. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So the Lord is saying, in 2023 it shall be a year of mysteries are you understanding what i'm saying it shall be a year of mysteries for the new generation that will come without the fear of god we practice so many things that will not be expected by people so that is why when they are abusing men of God, they are accusing men of God, they are saying all sorts of things. The, the Bible said the devil is using the youth, the younger ones, to wipe out Christianity. So that the things, the things God will destroy the world with, will start increasing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? That is what the Lord is talking about 2023. Hmm? You want more of 2023? <laughs> That's what the Lord is talking. And in 2023, we will experience 8 p.m. And there will still be daylight. The moon will not come. But we will still have the light. There will still be shining stars. Moon will shine. Is it? No, sun. The evening sun will come, but it will be it will be eight o'clock. The Lord said you will experience it in 2023. We will stand, we will check it is eight o'clock, the sun is still shining. We will check it is 9 p.m. The sun will be shining. We will check it's 10 p.m. The sun will begin to come down. Thus say it the Lord of hosts. And 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 the reason I began to share this. The Lord said, Abel, get ready for the shakings for the next move. And I began to see 2023. And I began to see 20 in 2024. So the vision the Lord showed me was from now to 2024. And I wish I had the money. I would have brought a book, Prophecy for 2023, and Prophecy and Half Year of Prophecy of 2024. But well, I will just leave it like that as part. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Hmm? And in 2023, the Lord said, I will separate the mindset of Christ and the mindset of the public. He said, I will create the mindset of the crowd. I will separate the mind of Christ from the mindless what crowd are you understanding me he said I will separate the mindset of Christ from the mindset of the crowd I think that should be the scripture of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 the mindset of the crowd and the mindset of Christ in 2024. So the Lord is putting so many, the devil is putting so many youths where they will be accusing men of God, women of God, accusing the church, accu leaving the government, distracting them from the God, accusing the church so that judgment will reach against them and their end will come faster. Because the Bible said, judge not for you not to be judged. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So the devil, you see how people are dying. A lot of people are dying. 
it is because of the judgment they have judged against people. So the devil has given the judgment over sinners, over unrighteous spirits, unrighteous people, unclean spirits to judge, including the people who say they are born again, to judge so that they will die mysteriously. Are you understand what I'm saying? So this is the prophecy and I'm saying. And in 2023, I'm seeing a new dimension of prophecy. How would I put it? A new dimension of the prophetic evangelical that will cover the air. The prophetic and evangelical sign that will cover the earth. A very big evangelical and prophetic sign. In 2023, that's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. And in 2023, the Lord said you will hear a specific news where boys will rub their parents with the physical eyes. And the Lord said some will kill their parents, but the law will not take judgment against them. They shall call it human rights. They shall call it sensitive rights. They shall call it different name for justice not to prevail. But the Lord said, for I, God, we establish my judgment here on earth. That is why the Lord is saying. And I see in 2023, a document, a document came and in this document, they brought it. They say, no, 18 years is too far. Let us bring it back to 15 years. So they began to legalize sex from 15 years. They began to say, oh, since 18 years is too far, and 15 years used to have scandal, but this, are you honest with me? And they will say, let us bring it back to 2015, to 15 years. It is no more 18. Some will say, no, 15 is too much. Let's bring it to 13. 13 can start having sex. They say, no, let's bring it to 15. And they began to deliberate on it. Nations begin to consider it. Nations begin to consider it. And I began them to make 15 years legal to have sex, to you can prostitute, can do whatever you want to do. At the age of 15, it was no longer 18. In 2003, this document will come. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It will no longer be 18. It will not be back. And the Lord said in 2023, the new generation will not be able to see marriage because the men will not be able to see what they want. There is now going to be what they call contract bed. You're going to see it on the news where it will not be contract bed. What do I mean by contract bed? Please write all these things down for me because I don't have computer head. There's going to be a contract bed in 2023 where I can pay a lady $1,000 to have a child for me in 2023. So it is called a contract bed. So if you want one woman to have all your children, it's going to cost you some certain amount of money for this woman to have all your children and you pay her off for that contract and till she dies she must be having allowance keep living your life while she keep living hers so it's going to be called marriage bed not bed marriage bed marriage sorry contract bed this b i r o t h contract bed where you born are you understanding what i'm saying and that's why the lord said i will show you my son things i will not show the prophet of all nations he said in 2023 you will see it rampart that marriage will no longer be a problem it's going to be a free thing
Are you understanding what I'm saying? So this is what the Lord is saying about it. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, my boss, Frank, <laughs> Frank Wala. Actually, praying against it cannot stop it because the Lord said this is the end time signs. Like what, I, like what the Lord talked about this year and everything. They were all, we prayed and prayed. The Lord said, stop wasting your time praying because this is my end sign. End sign. So we prayed and prayed. Sorry, sir. <laughs> we are still praying. But I'm just a deliverer of what God is saying. Like yesterday that I talked about seeing some personality in the courthouse of God. When the Methuselah and he was able to say, what do you offer? And you come to tell him stories that you never did. They will take you on the word. And the Lord said, these are the signs of how the end time will look. But I came, I'm not controlled. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I talked about why should this building in Dubai, yesterday, I think we're still, okay, this is Tuesday, 2nd of August. In Dubai, there was a serious fire that burnt yesterday. Not just the top building, but a lot of building burnt, busted in, on fire. But I didn't want to put it as prophecy confirmation because the Lord said, hold on. Hold on. The main building will catch fire. Then you can put that one, this one. Hold on. Are you understanding me? And today, I, 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 didn't, I didn't complete it. I didn't complete it. 